What I'm going to make today is one of the easiest quick fixes in an Indian kitchen. Much underrated but equally delicious. This is coriander rice. I'm going to start with heating 1 tablespoon of oil and also 1 tablespoon of ghee. Once the ghee and oil is hot, I'm going to add the whole spices. 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds. I have two cardamoms, about two cloves, few pieces of cinnamon sticks and a small piece of star anise. Just cook these spices till the cumin seeds turn slightly brown. Next I'm going to add finely chopped onions. Just saute the onions for a minute, I don't want them to turn brown. Next go in all the chopped vegetables, I've cut them into half inch pieces. Some chopped capsicum, half a cup of chopped French beans, also one carrot, chopped into half inch pieces, half a cup of green peas. All these vegetables are raw. And now we are going to cook them. And now I am going to add about 2 to 3 tablespoons of water to cook the vegetables. And also a little bit of salt. Cover the pan with the lid and let the vegetables cook for 2 to 3 minutes. Let's check on the vegetables and they look done. The vegetables have cooked and now I am going to add the main ingredient which is the coriander paste. For that I have taken 1 cup of coriander leaves, half a cup of minced leaves, half onion, 2 cloves of garlic, 3 green chilies and 1 inch piece ginger. Just grind all these ingredients with half a lemon juice in the blender. And now this goes in. Add in the paste. Since there is raw onions and garlic in this, I am going to cook it at least for 2 minutes. The ghee, the aromatic spices have filled this paste with a beautiful smell. Next, I am going to add all the powdered spices, half a teaspoon of coriander powder, half a teaspoon of cumin seed powder. Mix this in and now goes in the last ingredient that is some rice. I'm also going to add a little bit of salt, just enough for the rice because I'd added some earlier for the vegetables. And also some coriander leaves, just one tablespoon of water, take two spoons and toss this. Just toss it lightly so that you don't break the rice and if you're finding it too dry, you can sprinkle a little more water. The coriander paste is nicely coated all the rice. And now I am just going to cover this and let it simmer for a minute. Two minutes are up and now this rice is ready to plate. And just a little bit of coriander leaves. Coriander rice can be eaten for lunch or dinner, but in my opinion works best for a weekend brunch. Serve it with plain curd and you're good to go. So do give this a try. See you next time. Bye-bye.